Hi again there my model building friends, Boyd back with you again and this is another edition of Trekworks. We're on part three of our space battleship Yamato buildup. And I'm having a lot of fun as we're going along here. I'll talk about a little bit about what I've been working on today. Uh, we've been working on these little uh, missile launchers which are located at the bow of the ship. And I've got this first assembly put together which goes on the starboard side and I'll kind of explain how this works. Uh, this is a multi-piece assembly that goes together basically in a clamping type fashion. There are miniature springs that are located inside here, both inside the doors here and uh, the actual levers that uh, actuate the missiles. And I'll show you how this works basically. You push these doors in and you can see that the missile sort of uh, pops into that little slot and appears there. And this works really nice. And then as you pull back each one, each door goes back into its closed position, so that's pretty sweet. Now I'm going to take you through how the assembly of this works here in just a second and explain some important details to that. What I've also been working on here is I've got the atmospheric wing uh, assembly installed. Now this might not, uh, might not function uh, properly yet because uh, there's a piece that goes on here from the upper bulkhead that holds these pivot points in place. So. Um, there's nothing to lock this down, but you can see there's a couple of springs in there uh, to actually help pull the wings outward when you press the release button here. There's also a spring located underneath of that. And on the bottom side of the ship, you can see we've got this little activation button here. And um, it's pretty straightforward. You just push all the pieces down in there. Now you want to take care to make sure that, that the uh, switch assembly itself operates freely. And what I did is I touched a little bit of uh, uh, grease there on the side so it makes sure it doesn't bind at all and it works nice and free so that's set up very well now these are uh, four piece assemblies each on these wings there's an upper and lower half that clamps together and then three little extension pieces that go and they're held together with a screw and a nut as you can see here and you want to be uh, careful not to run that screw in there too tightly because that will cause this to bind so what I did is uh, left the screw a little bit loose and then I just put a drop, uh, drop on each side on the nut on the top of uh, Loctite so that it'll prevent the screw from backing all the way out over time. But I'm going to go ahead and deploy these for you and hopefully they don't come flying out of there because uh, as I mentioned there's nothing holding this in place. I'll go ahead and put my finger on these so that hopefully they'll stay. But uh, they're also supposed to have these stops that catch right here. And those will be held in place once the top section is on there. But you can see basically how this works. And that's the wings deployed. It looks really, really cool. Now what I'll do is push these back into place. There's a locking mechanism. And they both lock back into place. There's also a little bulkhead here on the side that's mounted on some pivot points that uh, retracts down in there. So when you want to deploy the wings, you can. When you don't want them uh, deployed, you can pull this back up uh, and lock it in place. Uh, there's a separate little part that comes with that that allows you to reach down in there and grab a hold of a little tab and pull that back up. And uh, you just, you're going to have to keep that tool handy so you can open and close those when you want. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult to get that up in there. It's kind of a strange design, but it seems to work. And as you can see, we've got all of our wiring routed through and all zip tied nice and neat. So nothing will bind and nothing will get in the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the camera up at a different angle here and we're going to go through the assembly of this uh, port side uh, missile launching system. And I'll explain to uh, you viewers out there uh, some of the important steps that we need to make to make sure that this assembly operates correctly. So let me get the camera up on the bench here and we'll get a nice close angle on it and we'll go through that whole thing with you. Be right back everybody. All right everybody, well we're ready to go to work on the bench now and I'll explain a little bit about what we're doing here. Remember, we worked on our uh, starboard side uh, bow missile launcher assembly. We've got that one all worked out really nice. There are a couple really important things to remember on this assembly to make sure that you don't have any problems with it and how it operates. Uh, the very most important thing is here is I'm using my little hobby knife and I'm using my little uh, Dremel tool here to make sure that there are no burrs on any of these parts whatsoever. Uh, the reason being is that um, any type of burr or imperfection on there, the clearances on all these parts are really tight. And if you have any burrs or anything going on there, uh, you're going to have some binding going on because these are all moving parts that, have, that all have to mate up perfectly with each other. And so you have to make sure and clean all those parts up really good first. It's really important. 
Now you can see I've got this little assortment of springs here. I prefer to keep these kind of loose parts on this little uh, microfiber towel because it kind of grips them and keeps them from jumping around and maybe floating away and dis disappearing on us. So um, what I've done now are there are two different sets of springs. There's a shorter spring, which they identify here in the instructions, and a longer spring. You have uh, three of each for each side of the missile launcher unit. The longer springs go in the back area here uh, to actually uh, put a spring action to these little levers here. And the shorter spring goes inside where the doors are located. And uh, you want to make sure you get those in the proper place so it'll work correctly. So what I've done now is I've installed all the springs. These uh, cam assemblies are in two halves and basically before you put the spring in there, uh, you set it in place. There's a little tab that it sits in and you squeeze them together. And that's what locks the spring in place in order so that it won't pop back out. And so I've done that on all these assemblies. One of the important things to remember if you notice that there's a particular color arrangement here on this one, uh, this fits in uh, behind the outer hull, which you can see it goes from gray to red at the water line. And you can see about where the water line is on the model here because the upper one here is gray, the one in the middle is uh, uh, gray and red, and the one on the very bottom is uh, red altogether. So this will be sitting uh, basically like that. And uh, you notice that the levers need to match the colors as well here, as per they show you in the instructions. So. That's very important to pay attention to that detail. So what I've started out doing here now is I've, um, I've got these two uh, main pieces here, which are the main body of the unit. And I've uh, put the first part in there in place, the cam assembly, which is the middle one, which has the uh, uh, red and the gray detail on the outer door. And the same thing, it just basically presses down in here. The cam assembly goes on this little pin and the other end of the spring sits down on top of a little tab that's located in there. And after you get that in there, you want to move this a little bit and make sure you're not getting any binding action or anything like that. And everything's working properly. So what we're going to be doing next now is we're going to install one of these little levers. And this one calls for a standard gray level uh, lever in the middle. And you've got your little missile tip here. And these basically press in. There's a slot where they locate and it's just a compression fitting, so the tighter, you, the harder you push it in there, the tighter it fits. Very simple. No glue required there. And this piece will lay down in this little slot right here. You can see that what we've got there is uh, the missile kind of tucked in behind that door so that when the door pushes in, this missile can uh, slide forward. When you pull the uh, missile back, the door closes back to its uh, closed position. So now this is ready to be clamped together. I'd make sure we don't have any binding action going on in there, and we're going to go ahead and put the upper piece on this now. And it's simple squeeze together like all the other parts. Okay, and you can see that's working perfectly. We've got no binding going on there. I'm going to move the missile forward so you can see that deployed. And that's how it looks, just like on the other side. You pull it back, and the door goes back to its closed position. And again, as I mentioned, there are springs that go in here on the back side with these little uh, caps that go in place that hold the spring from popping out. But we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so we've got the middle door installed. What they're calling for next is the upper door, which is in all gray. We've got our uh, spring assembly already installed in there. So we're going to go ahead and push this in. And we're going to have it kind of sitting far enough so we can hook our spring. You want to hook the last loop of that spring on that peg so that it's not binding in there at all and it's getting the full motion of the spring. You can see we've now I've got our upper door installed and we're not getting any binding action going on in there. It's working fine. And we're also going to install another uh, missile tip here. Press fit. And we're going to lay this one down in here. And now we're going to install the uh, cap on top of this and make sure we don't have any binding going on there. Okay, we've got the door working properly. Go ahead and slide the missile forward. The door's got to be pushed all the way in there. You can see the missile deployed. Pull it back, the door goes shut like it's supposed to. Again, making sure all those little uh, nubs have been removed from these parts. So if you don't, you can see how close those clearances are and it might give us a problem with something binding in there. This one's working perfectly fine, so we have no issues with that. 
Okay, now it's on to the bottom one here. You can see the bottom one is going to be uh, a red lever. Since it's below the water line, it'll be on the red part of the uh, exterior hull. So it matches up with that. We're going to be uh, installing our door. We're going to put the, uh, the spring on the last coil of the spring on that tab. And we're going to push it in and make sure we don't have any binding. Everything looks great there. I want to make sure that that spring is all the way seated down in that slot, guys, so it doesn't pop out on us later inside the model. Okay, now it's time to install the uh, lever. And then now this piece closes up on the bottom side. Okay, we've got no binding going on there. Let's move the lever, okay. Got a little bit of something going on there. Got one to return. As I said, you want to check this really good, guys, before you um, call this a done deal. You can see we've got something catching just a little bit in there that's not allowing that door to come back all the way. So we want to take this back apart and look and see what's going on there. It's most likely that we're having a little bit of something touching somewhere. And I think it's our spring. So I'm going to reseat this spring. not really difficult guys you just got to spend a little bit of time with it and work on it and just pay attention to these little details and uh, things should work out just fine make sure that I have that spring located properly okay, let's try this again spring sticking out too far I can see that gotta make sure it's down in that slot properly guys this one's giving me a little bit of trouble for some reason I'm take this all the way up and start from scratch here okay there we go lever back in place and try this again. Okay, got our door, our missile deployed. Our door seems to be working good now. Yep, comes all the way back, just like it's supposed to. Okay, we're good to go with that. All right. Now, the last part of this, guys, is we've got our little springs that go in here in the back to load up the uh, tension on these uh, return levers. And it's pretty straightforward. You just push the spring in there. You can see there's a little circle and uh, indentation there in the back of each uh, missile where that spring fits down in there perfect. And you've got a little peg on the back side here you locate in the center of the spring. And then simply push these down and lock them in place. We're just going to repeat that procedure on each one here. And I've already pre-trimmed these parts so that they uh, don't have any issues with uh, excess plastic sticking up where they won't lock into place for us. I'll make sure those are fully seated so that that spring can't come out of there. get this all together we'll check the operation of this thing again I'll make sure you get that uh, little tab on this side located in the center of that spring guys so that it's not sitting off to the side it might cause some kind of binding in there okay we've got those all locked down in okay let's try our doors again you push this in now what happens is you push the door and the missile automatically slides forward as you can see. Just like it did on the other side. Pull them back. 
doors all close. Okay guys, well that's uh, completion of the uh, forward missile launchers. What we're going to be doing next is moving on to the uh, anchor chain assembly. So I'll get the parts out for that and we'll start getting that worked up and we'll show you how that goes together. So I'll be right back with that guys. Alright everybody, so here we are and we're ready to go with the uh, assembly of the anchor chain mechanism. Now I've already assembled one side of this here just to kind of get a feel for how things go. You can see that I've got a little piece of tape that I've got ready for the next one. That once I've uh, wound the chain around the wheel here that I've got that tape in place so it won't unravel on us. But this is pretty straightforward. You've got these two halves of the uh, wheel here first that you install and snap together. And here you can see that we've got a little slot uh, cut into this back wheel here, which is actually kind of a thumb wheel uh, that you pass the anchor chain through. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. Just kind of, I'm just taking a little extra length of it here and just letting it dangle and guide itself right into that hole. And once we get it to come back out on the other side, I'm just going to pull it through a little bit. And then we've got our backing piece here which is uh, part of the wheel itself and in the center of it there's a small little peg which sticks up that maybe you can see here in the shot um, which actually uh, the last link of the chain here actually will slide over this and I had a little bit of trouble getting that to go on there because it's so small on the last one but we'll work on that here and try to get this going for you it's kind of awkward to work with it that chain wants to flop around a little bit on us here but just get that lined up over that first peg and start working it down on there. Once you get it started, we'll just take our little hobby knife here and push it down on there the rest of the way. Might take a second or two here, guys. It's made to fit on there really tight, so it's... Uh, bit tricky. Okay, we've got it lined up there. We've got it started, and I'm going to go ahead and push it down the rest of the way with the back end of my hobby knife here. So it's fully seated. Okay, I can see that that's all the way down now. And basically you just pull the chain back through. And you've got two little slots here. You can see this is sort of a three-slotted thing. The chain goes in the uh, upper slot there. The two other slots line up with these two little slots on the uh, part here. And we're just going to work it in there. Perfect. Okay. Then they ask you to uh, go ahead and reel this up. So I'm going to make sure I wind it the correct way here. See, the first one we went one way and the second one they want you to go another way here so let me make sure I'm looking at this right okay we want to come over the top like this just basically wind this up on here making sure to kind of distribute it evenly across the thing and once we get all the way down to the end we're going to take our little tape here that in place so it can unwind on us and basically all we do here is you've got a little peg sticking up and a slot on the back side we're going to place that on there like that and line up all of our pegs and just push this together okay presto we've got our anchor chain assembly Okay, next what they're calling for here is we've got some bulkhead pieces in our uh, forward LED lighting, which is going to be for the uh, wave motion gun. So I'm going to go ahead and get those parts ready. And then we're going to set that up, and we've got some outer pieces of the hull that attach this. And once we get to that point there, guys, the whole front end is ready to go onto the model here. So things are getting pretty cool. You'll finally get to see the entire length of the ship here in just a few minutes. 
So let me get all those parts ready and we'll come back and uh, move ahead with a little bit more progress on this. See you in just a couple guys. Okay then guys, well here we are with some more of the assembly and we're working our way forward onto the model now towards the bow. And we've got some more inner structure to put together. Here we've got this bulkhead assembly. I've uh, placed the first one on there and I'll show you how the rest of these go on. Now importantly I've gone through and deburred all of these parts again to make sure that we get a nice tight fit on everything. And uh, we won't have any issues with things snapping together nice and tight. These basically slide over these little slots here. And on these particular ones, it doesn't matter which way they go because they're identical on both sides and the pegs are identical on both sides, so no worries there. Uh, the second half of this, we're having our anchor chain assembly uh, going onto the top like so. And as we do this, uh, we're going to install our uh, forward missile launchers and they basically plug right onto this uh, slot here and go down there nice and tight which is really cool. Everything continues to amaze me on this model how beautifully everything is fitting. And of course we've got the one on to go on the other side here. And we're going to squeeze these together real nice. They fit in these slots perfectly. So what you can see here is now we've got our assembled uh, missile launcher assembly here at the front. Onto our forward bulkhead. I'm going to rotate these little anchor chains so our uh, tape is on the top so it's easy to get to later. Now we've got this little LED light assembly here which is the forward uh, lighting for the wave motion gun. There's a small red blue uh, two millimeter, I'm sorry, a red uh, two millimeter uh, LED in the bottom and a five millimeter white so it has a dual lighting effect. Now they want you to uh, route these wires through here a specific way so what I'm going to do is lift open the uh, front of the anchor chain assembly and work this bracket back into place here. Like so. And then that sits down on the bottom. Now they want you to route this uh, black and white wire underneath of both of these little uh, clips here and then in between that rear missile launcher and have it come out something like that. Okay, so we're good to go with that. We want to make sure everything is still fitting together nicely here looking good. Everything's fitting nice and snug. Okay, so now we're going to attach our outer uh, hull assembly here. We want to make sure we keep this wire tucked up on the inside here so it doesn't interfere with anything. And uh, keep it routed like they called for. Alrighty. that and we're going to lay this piece on here. This lines up right with the uh, lower, um, this bottom hole will line up perfectly with the lower uh, missile launcher tube. Once we get everything laid in there correctly here. Oops, I think I may have the wrong side here. I sure did. Okay. Here we go. Again, we want to make sure that that wire up in there is tucked up out of the way before we squeeze this down. And that our bulkheads here in the back are lining up correctly, which it looks like they are. And it looks like everything went together nice and tight on that. Notice now how uh, nice and flush that uh, missile launch door is there on the hull and our Switches are all but hidden there. You basically push this in and our missile comes forward there as you can see. And we pull this back and the door shuts. Really cool how that works. Really like that. Okay, we're going to go on to the second half now on the other side and make sure we do the same thing, watching to make sure all of our clearances are working out good. And we've got a couple pegs that need to line up just right here. front section. And we've got the inner bulkheads that need to line up just so. And again, a perfect fit, guys. There's virtually no seam there whatsoever. 
And again, we've got a couple little spots where the uh, uh, tree was removed off of this. On some of these parts, it doesn't leave any uh, marks at all, and some it does. So we'll, uh, we'll clean that up and airbrush over that a little bit and make that look really pretty. So you can see we've got all this installed now. Let's go ahead and give this thing a test to make sure nothing's binding on us. Got that one working properly. Looks like all the missile uh, doors are working properly on this. Let's go ahead and try these on this side as well. Everything's working out just fine. Beautiful. All that extra work we did on there, guys, to make sure everything's clearing is coming out to our advantage here. And that's why it's important to prep all that and make sure you've got everything working smoothly and nothing binding along the way. Up next, guys, what we've got here is we've got the main uh, 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 brain module that's going to drop into this now. And uh, there's a certain way that this goes. So what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and grab that and bring that over here. And what they're asking you to do here is slightly uh, tilt up the anchor chain assembly to snug this in through the bottom. We want to make sure that our uh, wiring harness is going to clear here. So we're going to set this down in there. It looks like it sits into these little uh, slots that they have on the uh, hull here. So let's just lower this down into place. like that and make sure we put our anchor chain assembly back down in place and clear of our wiring okay and we've got this little harness that comes up here and plugs in right in this slot right here which is pretty much self-explanatory We're just going to gently feed these wires back down in there. Make sure they're all nice and out of the way for us. Okay, we're good on that. Our anchor chains look like they're free and clear here. Everything's working properly. And uh, we're looking really nice here. So now we've got the forward, uh, very tip of the bow that's going to be going on to this. And let me take a look at the next page and see what they show here. Okay, we start getting into some of the superstructure on the ship. So I think we'll leave that for the next uh, video here, guys. But let me wrap this up by... Um, let me see if it has us attaching this forward section here, if there's something important. Otherwise, we can go ahead and put this on and show you what this looks like, guys. I believe we can hook this up temporarily, just to give you a look here, and you can see the overall uh, length of the ship. We'll uh, make sure to get our wiring harness out of the way here, and we're just going to lay this right down in here. Oh, wow, that makes it a lot bigger, guys. If you can see that in the picture, let me... Uh, tilt the camera up here for you and I'll kind of get back a little ways for you so you can possibly see it better. Wow, what a difference, huh? I'm going to take and temporarily set this on the stand really quick and that way you guys can get a better view of it, I guess. I'll back off of the camera. It's really starting to look like something now, guys. Just put on here. This should just drop right down on there like before. Beautiful. Okay, guys, let me pull you loose from the tripod here, and we'll take a look. Wow, really uh, pretty big difference there in length there, guys. That added about another half of a foot onto the model. So, And everything's fitting together absolutely perfect on this. You can see we're coming along really good. And in the next video, guys, we'll be... Uh, moving on to the building up the superstructure it looks like so it's going to be really getting detailed and very interesting so all right everybody well that's a wrap i hope you enjoyed the uh build along today i'm having a lot of fun on this and it's going quite well
we're making very good progress on this so that's going to wrap it up everybody take care out there we'll see you a little little a uh, little later in the week with uh another update on this and um until then happy modeling everyone